Hello, it's Pastor Chris, and welcome to Victory Zone. We are so thrilled you're here. In just a few moments, we will enjoy a worship song. After that, one of our Victory Zone teachers will come and bring a great lesson. After the lesson, we will have confessions. After confessions, we will close with another worship song. Parents, we ask that you help your child with their memory verse for the week and the activity. Ready? Let's go. Welcome to Victory Zone. Last week, Ms. Hillary talked to us about science, specifically Easter science. This week, we will continue talking about Easter science. In fact, I need your help with an experiment. You ready? We are going to do this experiment two times. The first time, you will do it by yourself with no help. The second time, you will do it with help. So let's get started with our experiment. Find a space in front of the device you're using that doesn't have anything on the floor. 
Next, I want you to close your eyes, no peeking, and walk five steps by yourself with no help. Now be careful. You ready? One, two, three, four, five. You can open your eyes. How did that feel? Were you scared? When I did this experiment, I was a little bit scared. What was I scared of? I was scared that I might trip or fall. All right, let's do the experiment again, this time with some help. Ask someone in your house to hold your hand when you close your eyes. Then we'll take the five steps. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Now open your eyes. Did that feel different to you? Yeah, it was different for me too. What made it so different? Did the person holding your hand say things like, I gotcha, I'm not gonna let you fall, trust me? And you did, right? Well, today we're going to learn about Peter, a person who told Jesus he would always be his friend. Jesus believed Peter and he trusted Peter to keep his secrets. But Jesus knew that Peter would not do that. Jesus had talked to God and God told Jesus that Peter would say he doesn't know him three times. Can you believe that? How would you feel if one of your best friends said they didn't know you after someone asked them three times? So let's see what happens with Peter in Mark chapter 14, starting at verse 66 in the easy to read Bible. While Peter was still in the yard, a servant girl of the high priest came there. She saw Peter warming himself by the fire. She looked closely at Peter and said, you are with Jesus, that man from Nazareth. Verse 68, but Peter said, this was not true. That makes no sense. I don't know what you're talking about. Then Peter left and went to the entrance of the yard and a rooster crowed. When the servant girl saw him, she began saying again to the people standing around, this man, Peter, is one of them. And again, Peter said it was not true. A short time later, the people standing there said, We know you are one of them because you are from Galilee. Then Peter began to say unkind things. He said, I swear to God, I don't know this man you are talking about. As soon as Peter said this, the rooster crowed a second time. Then he remembered what Jesus had said to him. Before the rooster crows twice, you will say three times, Peter, that you do not know me. Then Peter cried. Now, what do you think happened there? Was Peter crying because he was scared or something else? So what do you think happened for Peter? Why did he deny Jesus three times? Was he scared? Yes, Peter was scared. So what did Peter say when people said he knew Jesus? Come on, I'm listening. You're right. He said, I don't know this man you are talking about. And what did Peter do when he remembered what Jesus had told him? 
right again, Peter cried. So what can we do when things scare us? We can pray and ask God to help us. So here's our prayer. Dear God, help me not be scared. Help me remember that you are with me just like when someone held my hand with my eyes closed when I got scared. In Jesus' name, amen. So now we've learned about Peter and we've learned about how Peter had was scared. And now let's rehearse our memory verse from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. When anyone lives in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone and the new is here. Think about that for a moment. Ever had a game that you were playing that became old and then you wanted a new game? Yeah, me too. So when we read our memory verse, we want to remember that we don't want to be like Peter. We don't want to forget that we don't know Christ. Why? Because when anyone lives in Christ, the new creation has come and the old is gone and the new is here. So just like that game that you don't want anymore, you want to get rid of the old game and replace it with a new game. We don't want to forget about Jesus. We want to invite him in to live in our hearts, to live with us like our best friend. And we want to keep his secrets with us. And we want to release the old and receive the new. Thank you for helping me with this experiment this week. We will see you next week at The Zone. Wow, wasn't that a great lesson? Did you enjoy it? I know I did. Now, let's make some confessions. Thumbs up if you're ready. Oh. I see those thumbs. Oh, there we are. Just repeat after me. God is the strength of my life. And I can do anything with Jesus in me. I love others because you first love me. I am an overcomer. Your word makes me a winner every time. No weapon formed against me shall ever prosper. I listen, I learn, and I obey. Thank you, Jesus for giving me a chance to do great things for your kingdom. Amen. Parents, don't forget to help with the memory verse for this week and the activity. We'll see you back here again next week at the zone, Victory Zone. When there's an ocean of doubt in front of me, and my back's up against the wall I know it's an opportunity For my God to show his heart And it may look impossible in the natural But I know that it's not Cause I know that my God will come through There is no